In this video, we're going to talk about how to format your output in Java with format and print. So the format and print methods are included in the Java out package, and they're actually equivalent. So which one you use is up to you. If you have printfs, you can change it to format. If you have format, you can change it to printfs. They work the same. The first parameter is going to be a format string. And the format string is going to contain format specifiers that tell you where to put in values and then the format string itself will be followed by a list of those of arguments that represent those values. So some of the format specifiers that you'll see commonly are percent %d for an integer, percent %s for a string, and percent %f for a float. And then also for a float, you can specify the number of decimal places by including a decimal and then the number of places that you want to include. And then also you can have a column width where you specify that immediately following the percent that will display the value in a column that's that wide. So here I have a Java program where I have a string, an integer, and a double. And then I'm going to use print line to print these out just so that we can see what happens. And you can see it prints out Kendra Sorensen is 13 years old, and then it prints the number. Now I'm going to add a comment here for printf just to remind us what is going on here. Again, I use printf here, but format's going to be the same. But we'll start off using printf. So let's write the same string we had before. So we're going to print f the name is a string. So we'll use the format specifier for a string is we have an integer. So we'll use the format specifier for an integer years old. And then number is equal to a decimal. And let's round that to two decimal places. Now we also are not going to get an automatic new line at the end of this. So we need to put a backslash in to represent our new line. And then for our arguments, we're going to pass the name, age, and number. Now, format works exactly the same way. However, why don't we add some column widths here? So we'll say 20 column width for the string, 10 for the number, and 10 for the floating point. So now when I run this, you can see the printf statement is almost identical. I do have an extra space that I will remove. So let's run this again. So yeah, you can see that the print line and the printf print the same result other than the printf actually only prints two decimal points and rounds it off to two. And then the format statement, again, format and printf are the same, but with this format statement, I added column widths and you can see that there's a 20, 10, and 10 width columns for the three variables.